Hey friends and welcome to this week's video. We've got a lot of fun stuff happening in this one. We're completely making over Lenora's bedroom and I'm just so thrilled with the way it turned out and I can't wait to show you. We're also getting a lot of the finishing touches done in the kitchen, finally. It just feels like, well, we have been working on this place forever. It's been since April, but we're finally hanging the cabinet doors and putting on the hardware. We are, our shelves finally arrived, which we've been waiting weeks for. So I'm really excited about that. And I'm also doing a really inexpensive project to update our kitchen window. It cost $6, so I can't wait to show all of you. If you are new here, I'm so glad you're here. My husband and I have been renovating this fixer upper since April and it feels like it's been forever and we still have so much left to do. So if you do like home renovation videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and make sure you follow me over on Instagram. I have a super easy link down below in the description box. I post most of the updates on the house over there before I do here each week. So thanks so much. I hope you guys enjoy and let's get right to it. are new here this is my husband John and my one-year-old daughter Theo and my three-year-old daughter Lenny I'm also almost 21 weeks pregnant with identical twin boys that was a huge huge surprise to our family but we are looking forward to expanding our family and also finding the space for them in this house so just wanted to let you guys know if you're new here So my mom, um, we all, my mom, Lenny and I went to Hobby Lobby when my mom was visiting. It was like the first week we moved into this house and we bought all this decor. So the first thing I got was this super cute little like um, hook rack for like backpacks or, co or coats or belts or whatever. Super cute little stars and different colored tassels. Because the room is so purple, I wanted to be able to incorporate other colors. So I found artwork and things like this that would allow me to bring in like teals and pinks and things like that. So I got this, this sweet little flower. Let me turn down this light. There we go. This sweet little rosy pink flower. Yeah. These little eyelashes, which I love. I'm not gonna paint them, I'm just gonna leave them this natural wood because I like that. Um, super cute. little sign that says play which I thought was sweet um what else Lynn we got her this beautiful painting here it has all those beautiful colors from that little like wall um, coat rack coat hook thingy super pretty oh thank you Lenny wants you to see this pajamas <laughs> two more things here and then the mirror that's going in here is in my bedroom so Shh, Len, we're gonna have to walk out of here and not do this right now if you can't be quiet um, we got this little sign that says smile in gold writing Lenny, we don't need to see your dirty pajamas and this mirror which I thought was sweet it's just a whitewashed round mirror. I'm probably going to do like a mural wall over here with a lot of this stuff. Um, and that's it. So let's get to cleaning first.
bumper here on Amazon um, we just wanted a few more inches to protect Lenny in case she rolls off thank goodness we haven't had any issues like that yet um, but just in case this can't hurt um, and then when she's done with it I could also use it on the side of our bed for when I'm co-sleeping with the boys um, you just never know it's not funny but you just never know um, it's nice to have that little bumper here, but um, I'm gonna make her bed. We're gonna change out her curtains. We're gonna bring in her new rug and then hang this up on the wall and it should be good to go. Are you curtains? So the curtains I got are just standard light canceling curtains from Home Goods. These are by Clio Collection, energy saving, room darkening. When we were buying all of our pull down curtains for the house, they were very limited as to what they had left. So hers, unfortunately, are not light canceling, which is why I need to get the light canceling walk? curtains. You're walking? Who's a big, big girl? Yay! Yay! Okay. Baby, yeah. There was a part of me that knew that. And still I'm caught by surprise. I thought you'd always be mine. I guess our dreams fell asleep There's no passion in the comatose Baby, going down, 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 down Going down, 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 down Tried so hard to stay afloat Yeah, we keep moving like the river goes Baby, going down, 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 down Yeah And I thought, it's time I'm letting you go This time I know it for sure Just thought I should let you know Patch up all the scars, yeah. but we smashed up all the parts. Oh, no, no, no. Always knew that you were stubborn. Um, I also found this blanket on Amazon, which I love. It's so pretty. It's a beautiful, like, peachy pink. Let me see if I can. And it's just got this really beautiful texture, really lightweight. I'll make the bed later. This is just for, you know, it's kind of pointless to make it right now. <laughs> All right, and then I got her a really plush shag rug from Amazon as well. This thing is extremely, the reviews were incredible. Um, easy to clean, great for high traffic, really soft, plush, comfortable, and I thought it'd be great. Obviously, since she has the hardwoods in her room as well, so I'm gonna open that up. Oh, problem, Dad. Woo, is that soft? <laughs> I believe I got this in the ivory, but like I said, I'll look it up and I'll link it. So I got it hopefully long enough to where the end will go underneath the slide so when she's sliding down her butt hits something soft and not the ground. Okay, so now it's time to hang up her closet doors. 
I won't be addressing the closet today because I don't have any sort of closet organization system yet, but that will be in another video. So for now, we're just gonna close it off, um, hang up our decorations, and just get a really good feel for this space. I still have to find uh, toss pillows for her bed. I couldn't quite find the colors I was looking for at Home Goods. Theo has a tripod. Um, I just couldn't find the right colors, and I also want to bring in pictures or some of the things, like her blanket with me, so I can get the right tones of colors. But overall, it's so cute. It tones down the purple in the room so much, but just makes it look, I don't know, it's just really soft and airy and sweet in here. A nice, clean, fresh palette. So John's going to just put the closet doors on and disguise that, and then we're going to hang up her decor. But didn't know it'd be so hard to figure out who you really are. I guess our dreams fell asleep. There's no passion in the comatose. Baby, going down, 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 down. Baby, going down, 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 down. Tried so hard to stay afloat. Yeah, we keep moving like the river goes. Baby, going down, 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 down. Yeah. And I thought. Door, so I'm trying not to be too loud, but we are officially pretty much done with Lenny's room. We'll probably be pl playing with her bedding. Huh? Play -Doh. What? Do you make Play -Doh? Play -Doh? Oh, I don't have all the stuff to make it right now. Lenny, what do you think about your room? Just like I'm over in the room. I just want some Play -Doh. <laughs> Lenny, what do you think of your bedroom? Do you love it? Yeah. You do? It's such a great space for you. So we've got her little teepee in the corner here and her little dress up area here. I'm probably going to hang some little dress up clothes there, maybe a backpack, I don't know. Um, but it's a sweet little corner. And then her bed here, which turned out so cute. So this little bumper thing makes it really hard to make this look pretty, but who cares. Um, I'll probably play with the pillows a little bit and try to find some other colors to incorporate. But she's also got her twinkle lights strung up under here. So at night, this is nice and cute and it glows and she can, we're gonna eventually put another like mattress down here um, and make like a reading nook. And then when she has sleepovers, um, if and when, <laughs> then they can sleep under there. Um, the curtains turned out really nice. And then I just have like a little gallery wall over here. I kept it really simple just because kids' rooms have a tendency to get really crazy messy. We will be mounting this to the wall too, so it won't fall over. Did you turn your lights on? And my twinkies, my twinkie stars not Your twinkly stars aren't on? How come? I'll help you in just a second. Do you love your room? And this rug is so cozy too. But yeah, super simple, nothing too crazy, nothing too cluttered, but Hi, Dad. lots. Hi, <laughs> Gotta address the hallway next. 
John got the closet doors up. So I will be doing a closet organization video at some point. You did good. Thumbs up. Did you do two coats on the back side of those? Okay. Show sure enough did. And then our shelves finally shipped. Our shelves for all of these areas shipped, so they should be here hopefully by next week. I can't wait to style them. I know that sounds silly, but we've had these big kind of open spaces for months now, so they're gonna look really nice with some white oak shelves and some recipe books and knickknacks and plants, and it's just gonna be really nice. I feel cozy. And I can organize all of my shelves. I should have. But I'm better on the table saw and no, the router. No, you are. So what I should have said is, no, please don't paint those because I would have. It's just I. I took advantage of. I even told myself I'm like, release, relinquish the control. He can do this. I had to sit there and I, I. had to talk myself. Screw you, I did. And all right, guys. <laughs> I'm just gonna give you a little dose of reality. We we just had a long discussion about my disappointment in the white cabinets. It's not gonna pull up on camera. Um, so I just figure I would tell you because these things happen. Uh, John took the liberty of painting the white cabinets. I did all of the blue lowers and I really, really, truly appreciated him doing it. The issue is some men, some women, are better at certain tasks than others. They're a little bit more diligent about things and some overlook things that the other one wouldn't. The issue with the white is the sun hits it. I mean, you can, I wish I wish this picked up. Let me see if, here we go. So there are a lot of issues in the paint where it's not super even or it's really grainy, um, running into issues like this or paint pooling things like that um and they just what happens is like you have to do like one or two coats and then you need to take like a 220 grit sandpaper and go over all of these things before you do your final coat or the next couple coats you can also see it's not even here um so unfortunately what we're gonna have to do is go through and take these off one by one because I don't want to sand them in a kitchen that's being used regularly. So we're going to have to take them down one by one, sand them down, correct a lot of these mishaps, and then um, repaint one more time and then put the hardware up. But I'm very grateful that we are getting to a point where all of this is, being, is, is done and it does look really great. It's nice to finally see what it's going to look like. It's just another step we have to take and that's okay. We're both so grateful for each other. When our yeah, it'll be fine. It's just more time, that's all. So as frustrating as that was, I will say the same day I was caulking the around the countertops here, I actually went ahead and just sanded and repainted all of the cabinets one more time. Theo took a really solid nap that day. Lenny was watching cartoons, which I usually don't sit her in front of the TV while I'm doing projects, but sometimes you just have to do what you have to do. I was able to get all of the caulking done and all of the cabinets sanded and repainted and they look and feel so much better. We're much happier with them and yeah, sometimes you just have to get through those hurdles and everything always works out. It's just a little frustrating at first. 
So this was my first time caulking in this manner. Um, I ended up just going ahead and using this white caulk. My dad and I, when he was visiting, tried using the sanded caulk that came that matched the grout, but the product, like we absolutely hated it. So this was a little bit messy. Every one and a half to two inches, it would bump out due to the tile and then some of the caulk would get in the grout lines. So I'm gonna have to go through with some of the sanded caulk, clean up some of that and just try to make it work. But for now, I just wanted to get it sealed that way we could move on and then when I actually get a day where I can go through and perfect this, I will. But you know, it was just one of those things. It took quite a while and at least it's done. So if you're wondering what this little cardboard piece is, John made a little template as far as like where I wanted the hardware exactly. So we just put this on every door front so that we just knew that the hardware was gonna be in the exact same place on every single door and it worked out great. Once you travel the world, all the spaces inside your heart. So before John gets these hung, I just kind of want to show you up close. Um, these are white oak shelves. Like I said, we ordered the pickled white oak stain to go with the flooring. Um, and I love that it still has all of these like natural knots in it. Really, really beautiful. He's just using this Milwaukee um, diamond drill bit. Mm -hmm. There we go. Specifically for porcelain tile. It's for porcelain, but doesn't it also say ceramic and a yeah. couple other things on this the is back? This porcelain, though, right? I think so. <laughs> the way you use this thing is um, you get it wet, and then so as not to compromise the integrity of the drill bit, you get it wet every three to five seconds, as far as, far as what I looked up on uh, YouTube. You start at a 45 degree angle, and then you move to 90 degrees so that you don't crack. It helps prevent cracking of the tile. And so you just keep getting it wet. That did not, wasn't the quickest. Here, can I show you something? Hold this up for me. No, not the drill. That's not supposed to be the first thing that sits on the shelf. Hold on. They're styled. That's all that matters. Will you give me the other one from way up there that I can't reach? Uh -huh. 
Naomi Smart? Yeah. Why did you put... You have, she's like in the weirdest spots. No, so I'm going to style them, but it's just going to be nice to have like cookbooks. I'm going to do like a string of pearls plant. Um, just some cute little things. It'll be nice. Mm -hmm. Little DeWalt action going on. Yeah, I'm going to have to put Get that out of here. Let's hang these other shelves up. <laughs> Smooth as butter. That's, that's, that's what you're calling, man. That's perfect, huh? Uh, okay, yeah. um, it is, but there's a bigger gap. A much larger gap on this side than there is on that side. Can you try turning it? I mean, you, you can see that, right? It's it's significant. Now, keep in mind that none of this is super plumb. Well, I mean, I know that, but then you wouldn't you just drill accordingly? There, that looks much better. 100%. Thank you. Isn't that funny? It's just a matter of turning it. I wonder why. It's just the way they have their dolls, their their drills. I guess so, yeah. Wow, look at it. It's so much better. It's it's small, but it makes such a big difference when you're looking at the gap that was mm -hmm. here and the gap that was here. We put just some basil up here and a little air plant. Um, we, like I said, are waiting for two more shelves that we will be. <laughs> and there's John styling his again. Wow. Uh, if that falls and cracks the granite or the quartz, that would be really difficult to DeWalt. explain. Um, John's DeWalt. like, sponsor me, DeWalt. <laughs> Let me just zoom in and make it look real cute. Hold on. <laughs> can, I th can I throw my miner saw out there? <laughs> no, we're done. Anyway, so I will be styling them once we get them. I'm currently in the process of ordering a shade. Like, I was just sitting down doing it. I really, really want the natural bamboo color, but I'm worried that with the pickled white oak, I'm not sure how it looks, so I'm gonna look up some images and see if I can find some. Um, stop. I might also do a soft, like, gray, because it would pick up the grout and the grayish tones of the floor and the shelves, maybe, but I never really imagined a gray shade. I always kind of imagined a natural bamboo, but. We kind of styled these just a little bit based off of some things that we had in the house. And I don't know why it makes me so happy to see like this finished space. We're gonna hang these up tonight. <laughs> John, stop it. Wow, a little, you know what? A little bit of me as you, well. you, know, you know what? That's a great compromise. That's, the, mm -hmm. that's exactly what it was missing. But look how cute these little guys are. I went out to Lowe's to grab some stuff while John took the girls to the park and I found these little guys, these little air plant planters and they just make me so happy look how cute they are okay so as you can probably see on the window i tem attempted to spray paint this panel here but it was only in a high gloss and i hate it so i went and found a flat matte spray paint so i'm going to take those off i'm going to spray them and then i'm going to tape all of this off just to be safe make sure it doesn't get um spray paint on anything else which will be difficult but we're gonna make it work and i'm gonna make that all black john just went to the store and he's gonna find me a roman shade and we're gonna get to moving on this place i keep on thinking back on it when we escaped with our first real paycheck wasn't much but we needed less yeah then we do now Okay, so as you can see, what I'm gonna do here is just take some pieces of cardboard and tape off any areas that I'm concerned about. I don't mind if I get paint on this because I will be hand painting that black. So I'm just gonna take this cardboard to protect the shelf here. 
and the faucet. So I'm just gonna do it baby steps and kind of see how this applies. Okay, so I'm taking my same limousine leather paint that I used on the windowsill and that I used on our hearth for our fireplace. And I'm just gonna be painting the inside of the window here with it. I do wish it was matte, but, cause it's got like a nice like uh, satin gloss to it, which I don't love, but I think it'll look great cause we're also gonna be putting a shade in here. Alright, so I thought I would bring you guys out here. I can't really speak to what John's doing. Um, but I know that he's doing. What are you doing, John? I'm making a box. Well, I know that, but like are you following a template or Yeah, I got a template somewhere around here. <laughs> so he ba <laughs> He basically measured the box, the empty space in the kitchen below the countertop. Where we're putting, where we're putting, this is great, honey. <laughs> putting the trash can and recycle bin. Measured what size he needs to make. He's making a standard box to put in that space that we will then paint and put hardware in. It's basically going to be on tracks like this, right, hun? It's just basically going to be on these tracks, right? You got better. Um, so he bought these tracks from Home Depot, and they're going to sit. Are these up or lower? Hmm? Are these gonna be at the ground? Um, actually, it's not gonna be these tracks because these tracks are too big. So I'm gonna have to go back and get some, of some course. smaller tracks. Um, so, what'd you do here? Kind of cut out, is this where the, I don't know what you're doing, so I can't sit here and just pretend like Yeah, I'm... so basically, this is gonna be bottom top. Perfect. So you cut out a quarter inch groove, what's I gonna go there? Groove, so this is gonna be the back. Um, so we're gonna have a quarter inch piece of plywood in here. Okay. It's gonna make the back of the box. Now I'm gonna do the same thing along the bottom here to create the floor of the box. Mm -hmm. And it'll be kind of its own contained space. I like your poppers. Oh, you do? I got a just, on my just head. enjoying the sunshine. Look at that baby. Yeah? So John finished constructing the box that the babe. I mean, I'm really impressed. You never ever seems to amaze Excuse me. me then. So he just put a piece of plywood in the back there. Lenny, can you get can out of that? For a second, please? You can get in it in a minute. We're hoping it slides right in. <laughs> it probably. Oh, is that it? Oh, <laughs> thank goodness. Oh my God, babe. <laughs> wow. Hold on a second. He's got to kind of tilt it so it gets out from under the bait. I mean, I can't, I, I can't. <sighs> it's going to disappear when we put the kick plate in and maybe just do a couple small trim pieces. You know? Yeah, I haven't done the trim pieces yet. Yeah. So I got the wood for, we're gonna frame it out just like the. Wow. 
Ow. Is the box a little crooked? The, the, my, it might be, it, it could be everything. So he built the frame based off of just the measurements we needed, um, kind of etched out the bottom there. So when we put the kick plate up, it'll cover that up. Um, and we'll build a, or cut a custom covered front like that with a faux pole. Well, a pole, but obviously it's, well, no, it's not pole. Faux, because it will pull the entire mechanism out. So actually this is a perfect time. Lynn, get out for a second. We gotta check something. So I'm probably just gonna get another one of these garbage cans here. Um, you wanna set it in there and see if we can fit two side by side. Mike, please step up. She's like, you made me a fort. Yeah, so we're just gonna do, well, hopefully the top's not, the top looks a little wide. What? Unless it goes over. Lenny, move, I can't see, honey. Yeah, that we should be able to, right, once they're in the thing. So what he'll do is he'll build like a square, like a square um, out of like MDF or pl probably plywood. Um, and then with two holes in it that are the same size as the, the top of the garbage cans, they'll slide in and then it'll be on a track to pull out. Okay, thank you. This is gonna be great. <laughs> we built it just for you. That's that's my easy room. And then also, I keep looking at this. This we are going to turn into one drawer, and we're going to glue it because both of them are useless anyway. So instead of having to have one cut funny, we're just going to have one false cupboard front, or I guess one false drawer front. Uh, so John was working on this in the garage and I didn't realize it, but <laughs> So basically all he did was add these tracks and then Create a, create a little frame with My new pocket door pocket screw system. Oh, you got some new tools Babe, this looks so profesh <gasps> Is it a soft close? It is. Mm -hmm. you, this is so great. So then he'll just use a piece of plywood cut out the appropriate shapes for the garbage can and the recycle bin and then we'll get a cover on it and paint it heck yes good job babe this is awesome and my name even contributed yes she's drawing two apples up on top i love it you did a really great job thank you so much hi naked theo guys that looks so awesome I just wanted something that was gonna like pop out of this space so that, sorry, Lenny's playing with her truck behind me. Um, when we get all the shelves up and that Roman shade, it's just gonna be, <laughs> it's just gonna look really nice and modern framed by this black and pull up some of the black accents like in the pots and these will probably go now because they bled in the washing machine, but you know, it's just gonna look really nice. Excited. It was a quick and easy and very, very inexpensive um, process. So, or project. Okay. Yeah, where well, I'm gonna relax for the rest of the day, get my video edited, and then the next time you guys see this kitchen, it will be finished. I'm not gonna show you anything else until it's completely done, and then I'll show you before and afters, and I think it's gonna be crazy. But thanks so much for watching the video, guys. We'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.